Baron Commander is proceeding towards Honorable Chief Guest to report for the inspection of the parade. Six subordinate officers, 58 police officers, is ready for your parade inspection. Please. Thank you. 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 Your Excellency, President Ellen Johnson Sharif, President of the Republic of Liberia, distinguished colleagues and guests. Today happens to be the National Day of India, the 9th of January, the Day of the Republic of uh, India. If I may be permitted, I'd like to address them in their own language very briefly. Behno or Bayo Aj Apka Jamhuria Dinhe January no Tarihka. May Chataho May Chatao Kis Din Ap Sabdoko Mubarak Bad Dedo Jehend. It's with great pride and honor as special representative of the Secretary General that uh, we welcome Her Excellency the President of Liberia to this very important occasion that brings to a conclusion the deployment of the ninth unit of all female form police units of the Indian Republic in the context of the United Nations peacekeeping operations in Liberia. Before their deployment to peacekeeping operations, the Indian all-female form police unit, which comes from the Rapid Action Force contingents of the Central Command of the Indian Police Force, had already established a great reputation as highly professional and highly competent presence. Through their deployment in peacekeeping operations, particularly in Liberia, they have only consolidated that reputation by having left behind a legacy of true and dedicated service in support of the Liberian nation in su support of the Liberian National Police and in delivering services to the people of Liberia. Let me say how pleased I am to be on these premises, the place from which you prepare your daily programs, review your experiences of the previous day as you continue to serve our nation. There comes a time when one feels both gladness and sadness. And this is one of those occasions. Gladness because Liberia has been favored to have had the service of the Indian police unit. The contribution you have made to inspiring Liberian women, to impart in them the spirit of professionalism, to encourage them to join those entities, those operations that protect the nation. For that we will always be grateful. And those are memories that will remain with us. I know that when I enter and leave my office every day, you are there. And, and I, I marvel at how you carry out your functions, the discipline that you display, the responsibility that you represent. 
and I can only say to all of you how proud we are as Liberians to have had the benefit of your couple of years, several years, several years, 2007 you started. Time goes by so quickly and we've got so accustomed to you that we thought it was just yesterday and already you've served so many years, you've become a part of our own architecture, a part of our own family. I want you to know that Liberians remember this. We go around the world and we talk about this as an exceptional contribution of the United Nations to Liberia. <laughs> An unprecedented contribution as our security services now have 17% women. We owe that to you because it was not even 1% a few years ago. It's because they want to emulate you, they want to follow you, they want to be something like you in how you serve your country. As you go, please take with us the warm feelings of gratitude. Please say to all those with whom you meet that Liberia is better off because of you and your service. And I say it's a day of sadness. We talk about all the gladness, but the sadness is that the time has come when you must leave. And that is not a time that we had looked forward to. We know that in the transition to which we've agreed, the drawdown requires that there is a movement back to your own home country having served us too well. But if the SRLG had given me a choice, I would have told him to send somebody else and leave you here. <laughs> <laughs> Please, as you go, know that Liberia is your second home. Please feel free to come back at any time, individually or as groups to be able to once more reconnect with the many friends that you have made, to come back and see the progress as Liberia marches forth with peace and security to which you've contributed so much. Please come back and give us a continuing opportunity to thank you, to show gratitude, to let you know how much we love all of you and we praise you for your service of country. Go well and thank you. Thank you.